and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about that bike right in front of you, the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. And <clears throat> I think this is about as good a bike as you're going to get for under $1,200. That's right, that's the price it's going for right now. Uh, I can't believe it. It's still under $1,200. So let's hop on and talk a little bit about the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. So I've had this bike for almost eight months now. Check out that seat. Look at how wide that seat is. It's very comfortable. Very rarely do you get a bike with a good seat right off the bat. A lot of times you have to replace it to get yourself a decent seat. But this one, I can tell you, is good. It's comfortable. I don't have any issues with the seat. The one thing I did find with this bike is that it was kind of weird. I'm in pedal assist three right now, but it was kind of weird because the I'm not used to a thumb throttle being on the left hand side. I'm used to all my throttles being on the right, be it a twist throttle or thumb throttle. Um, and so having this one on the opposite side was a little bit strange. I haven't done anything at all to the bike. No additions, nothing. If you saw earlier when you were looking at the bike, uh, before I hopped on it, you'll see the rack that was there. That's an integrated right into the frame rack. And that rack is able to handle a cargo load of up to 150 pounds. You can buy a, a seat and sit a passenger on the back there. Um, I probably should have a mirror on here that I do not. I did add one thing. I shouldn't say I didn't add nothing. I added the bell. Um, but this bike is a 750 watt motor, 48 volt, and it's smooth as can be. Very comfortable ride, easy pedaling. I'm riding right along now and you can see I'm just pedaling really nice and easy here. I'm in assist level 3, that's my favorite pedal assist level, and I'm in gear 8. This has 8 speeds and I'm in number 8. You can see I'm rolling along here at 15, just about 16 miles an hour, it's like effortless. This bike is very smooth and it also is a lightweight. It feels so lightweight to me and easy to navigate around it's it weighs 65 pounds and that motor is a 750 watt motor and it has a 90 newton meters of torque so you got a little bit of oomph there which is good too the tires are 26 by 3 that's not quite a fat tire it's a little under Flat tires are generally four inch or wider, or maybe even three and a half, but these are just slightly under. They're almost a fat tire. And uh, like I say, I like the pedal in Pedal Assist 3. It does have five assist levels. It's an amazing uh, value. If you're looking for an e-bike and want a nice, comfortable, easy to ride bike, this might be very well the one for you. It's under $1,200, like I mentioned, and you can get it. This version, as you saw earlier there when I was, before I hopped on it, is the step over version, but you may uh, find yourself uh, preferring the step through. So I have a friend who, you, if you are a regular watcher of the uh, channel, I'm sure you've seen him on here several times. His name is Keith. And when I got the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser, he and his wife both uh, tried it out, you know, when I got it. I wanted to take it for a ride and, and see what it's like. And immediately, right away, she, uh, his wife Sierra said she had to get one. And she did. She bought one and to this day uh, loves the bike. She comments every time I see her that how much she still loves that bike. And um, before that, they had scooters, and she would ride the kick scooter a little bit there, but the scooter got put away uh, pretty quickly when she got the bike, and that was the bike from then on. 
So I throttled to get me going for a few seconds through an intersection and then away I go with the pedaling. And like I say, this bike is so smooth and easy to pedal. The handlebars too, if you can see them right there, they are the swept back handlebars. And this bike does have hydraulic disc brakes and 180 millimeter rotors. It has uh, metal fenders too. This bike comes in black, blue, or white. And like I say, there's two models. You can get the step over, which I'm riding now, or the step through. I think it's just an awesome value. If you don't want to spend a gazillion dollars on a bike, and let's face it, some of these bikes can get up there. 1500 2000 and beyond. Uh, if you want uh, a bike that will is good, reliable, a nice commuter bike, I think this cruiser uh, bike right here, for what you get, definitely worth the money. 100%. I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to go and check it out. And I'm also going to leave a link for my first review. I've done a few reviews on this bike since getting it. There was a six month review and I think I did a 10 week one. And then I also did one uh, when my friend Keith and his wife Sierra got their step through we did a review we had the step through on the channel and did a review of that as well if you want to look that one up on the channel but i will leave a link for the very first review i did of this bike back in march about eight and a half months ago, or seven and a half months ago now uh almost eight months and uh, you can check it out and see what you think this is the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser, and I definitely would recommend this. This is my favorite. If anybody uh, wants a budget pr uh, price bike, this is the one I would say is number one. I would pick this one. And I've had several people ask me, um, what bike can I get, you know, that's not too expensive? And I always bring this one up. I say, if you want a good bike, and I can attest to it because I've ridden it many times, I would suggest this one. And that's, uh, that's my opinion on it, but uh, I think I'm pretty confident that if anybody buys this bike, they're going to love it. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for supporting us. Just hit that subscribe button. And if you want to comment on this video or any others, maybe you own the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser, let us know what you think in the comments below. I'd be interested in see what you think of it. And uh, I'd be very surprised if you didn't like the bike. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.